For years, alternative energy sources like solar, wind power, and hydroelectric power have been providing clean energy. But as Jim Sweeney, a prominent Stanford University energy economist argues, freeing up 10% of current demand would leave more energy available than expanding all current wind and solar production tenfold. These savings are equivalent to 34 billion gallons of gasoline not burned, or the yearly carbon dioxide emissions of 38 million households. This is where smart cities come in. Managed by control networking technology, smart cities more efficiently manage everything from streetlights to homes and entire power utilities to achieve overall energy savings of 50%, as well as operational efficiency cost savings in the billions of dollars. And this technology exists now and is being used profitably throughout the world. A complete smart city is one in which there's an invisible network of devices that are smart, they can communicate, and each of these devices can control themselves. Buildings are the major user of electrical energy. 65% of the electricity is used in, in buildings. Just taking building control system and the devices in buildings, making them energy aware and making them intelligent and communicating will reduce energy by 20 to 30 percent. The cost is very little. It'll pay for itself very quickly. Echelon makes this open technology and the metering infrastructure, but we don't deliver end-use products. We depend on thousands of companies to do that. First of all, companies that make thermostats and that make dishwashers and washing machines and pumps and valves. We have lots of partners around the world in the utility space. We also have partners that are helping building owners create energy efficient applications. There's no building that can be built without a control system, particularly for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. What people don't know is if you use a smart communications infrastructure, like the Longworks infrastructure, that uh, control system also becomes an energy management system. And in point of fact, being green in a building is just, it actually will give you green. Some examples of buildings that have Lawnworks in them today, the Tiffany building in San Francisco uses Lawnworks and is managed remotely and has continuously, year after year after year, used less and less electricity because of intelligent management. We are working with a Spanish company actually called Telvent at a Swedish utility, Vattenfall, the largest utility in Sweden, uh, to install six or seven hundred thousand meters and make their uh, residential utility grid a smart grid. The New York City public school system has standardized on Lawnworks for all of their upgrades and new and, and retrofits and new, new buildings. In Oslo, the city of Oslo used Lawnworks to make their street lights uh, um, intelligent and in doing that they were able to save 50% of the electricity they use in street lighting. Eddie Bauer said, we're going to go put in an energy management system and a building control system. They saved so much energy from this new system that the system paid for itself in eight months. There's no question it's good to put triple pane glass, to put better insulation, but you can do more just taking building control system and the devices in buildings, making them energy aware and making them intelligent. You want your house or your building or your utility to respond to the way you want to save your energy and the way you want to operate. And that's what these networks allow you to do. Invisible networks of everyday devices.